This is my Flux World Builder. Let me show you how that works. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? I haven't done a ComfyUI video in quite a long time. So today I'm going to show you my newest workflow, which I call the Flux World Builder. And what this is, is basically playing off the runway frames idea of creating images in the same style. But I didn't really like that. And the main thing I didn't like about that was you didn't have any image input. So I fixed that inside of ComfyUI. Let me show you how I do that. So first, let me show you some examples where we have this as an input. And this is very stylistic. It's an image created with Korea. So it's not exactly based on the photo look. But here we have the result I have generated on that with the photo look. It's a little bit different, but the light and the style is very similar for that portrait. Next, we have here a motion blur night photo. And as you can see, this has no subject in it, but the style is interesting. It's very analog. It has this kind of artistic vibe to it. Here is the result I have generated with my method. And as you can see, it is again also an analog style photo with this night motion blur, very similar colors, pretty cool look, completely different scene. Here I have a night image that is not a portrait, but has this kind of like pink night light situation. And here I have created a portrait based on that light situation. As you can see, very similar style works pretty good. And here I have a starting image that has this very interesting color grading of very pop colors, but then the autumn, the background is more moody. And here we have the result that I've generated with my method. And I would say it looks pretty similar from the colors and the artistic style. So here we are on a website actually, but you can use it offline with ComfyUI exactly the same thing. I'm just using this because well, I can render it online. It's a little bit easier. Anyways, what I'm doing here is pretty interesting. So first of all, let's have a look over here. So this is apply style model over here with this. And what this does is actually, as you can see here, and I'm kind of like piggybacking here off of another workflow. This will let you prompt with an image instead of a prompt. But I'm not using it like that. I'm using it in a different way. And the reason why I'm not using it like that is because IP adapter for Flux is not very good, but IP adapter for 1.5 is pretty good. So we're going to mix two of them together. And this is a solution that basically works together in both ways. So here I have the image input that I only use to a certain degree to give me basically the style. But because this is using an image as a prompt, it would generate what it sees in the image. Because of that, we have to generate the image first for the content with 1.5 and then regenerate it again with Flux. So here is how that goes in a pretty interesting way. Over here, we're going to load the image. Then I have here a string. This string is going into both the prompt for our 1.5 K sampler, but then also for our flux sampler. Then what we want to do here is we are using an easy apply IP adapter. You can see standard strength here. You want to play around with the weight and also with the end value to give more flexibility to the images you can create with that because on the one hand, it might have too much of an impact of what you get in the image because you might want to have something that looks like it, but has a different content most of the time. Probably that's the idea of the IP adapter. So play around with what you get from that, right? So we are outputting this as the applied IP adapter with the model into our K sampler over here where we have the positive, the negative prompt, the latent image, which of course is empty. And this will generate an image for us that is first of all, low quality. As an example for that, I want to show you this image here where the face is bad and the rose is way too big, but it has the colors in there. It has the composition in there. It has the subject in there. This already helps us a lot because then let's go back to the workflow. 
when we have generated the image, we are going to send that image. First of all, here I have it as a save. You don't need to do that. It's just for me so I can test it better. And then we go down here into clip vision encode and send that into apply style model. Again, you want to play around with the strength here to see what you get. In this case, you want to have the style and the image content. This is why we use 1.5 so that we can have the content and the composition set up already in the right way and just re-render it for the higher quality with flux. As you can see here, this is part of the conditioning. So this goes into our basic guider, which combines the model and the conditioning and goes into the guider of the sample custom advanced sampler. Now this makes it a little bit more complex that it use or needs to be because we have to have all of these inputs here, the noise, which is the seed. Then down here we have the sampler, we have the latent image here. In this case, we have one batch size. And over here, we have the input for the width and the height. And then also here you have the basic scheduler, which also gives you the steps, the denoise, and of course, the scheduler. And of course, you also have to do the classic thing. So we have to load the diffusion model, in this case, flux one depth, you can use other flux models if you want to, we have the dual clip loader here, we have the VAE loader below that, we have the flux guidance here. And also down here, we have the model sampling flux, which could help you with details, you can play around with these values, I let them as they are, and it worked pretty good. Now what all of this does is that it takes this image here, uses it basically as a prompt. I'm still using a prompt describing it a little bit, but it basically uses these ingredients, this image and creates a flux version, which looks like this. And as you can see, that looks pretty amazing. And here's the comparison to the input image. As you can see, it has the same style. It has the same color tuning in their color adjustments. So that is what we want. We want to have a consistent artistic style, which is mostly the color grading. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.